Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Louis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is March 12, 2024, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some urgent information coming out. If you can, please share this video. And it says here, the 46 released his budget, $289 billion, to build the newcomers brand new homes 7.3 trillion dollar in new spending wow and guys uh that was on fox news budget includes 7.3 trillion dollar spending Oof. yeah we're gonna see what's going on here guys so once again um uh, we are basically being replaced. Some people's like, who care? Other people's like, uh, that's not my problem. I'm like, what's wrong with people nowadays? It's like, again, this is the real info. You should be concerned. I mean, they're taking your, I mean, everything away from you. <laughs> man. Uh, again, oh, man. $289 billion to build brand new houses. For the newcomers, the new ones, the one that's coming in to the sleeping giant. Wow. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, let's see what's going on here. Uh, I just posted a video on my Patreon. Um, again, it's only for those that pay one do again, a dollar a month. Uh, if you guys want to check out the video, again, the Patreon link is in the comments box. It's only one dollar a month. It would get you access to our videos. I don't use code words. I don't use none of the t uh, type of stuff. Uh, and Patreon, you know, I'm me. I don't be using no, none of the, you know, funny words. All right. So, uh, again, the link to the Patreon will be in the comments box. I post a video about the uh, the whistleblower um, that they found. And he was found in his, uh, his car, D-E-A-D. He was going to sound the alarm about the planes. You know, the birds that's flying. So if you guys want to check out the video, again, my Patreon link will be in the comments box and the description box. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on here. All right, we do have more breaking news updates. Once again, shadowing. Ooh, I'm going to skip that name. All right, so... Yeah, we're going to see what's going on with all this here, guys. All right, but but uh, let, me, uh, let me bring up this uh, massive spending bill 7.3 trillion uh, guys is this real i mean right again reuters is coming out with the information but that number is insane that number is just completely insane 7.3 trillion dollar budget is campaign pinch for spending tax goals let's see what's going on here guys once again, uh, please share this video. I want to thank everybody so much for the love and support, either through PayPal or Patreon. Your support truly really helps out. Thank you so much for the kind words and subscribing. Thank you so much for sharing the video. All right, so you had the sleeping giant leader sketched his policy vision for a potential second four-year term on Monday, unveiling a $7.3 trillion dollars. Election year budget aimed at convincing uh, skeptical sleeping giant citizens that he can run the economy better than the 4-5. Stop. Stop. No, you can't. No, you can't, dude. Many of us are working three jobs. I'm working two jobs. Unbelievable. So the 4-6 wants to raise taxes by trillions on corporation and high earnings. His budget wish list showed to help cut the deficit and pay for new programs, new programs, new programs, assisting those who make less cope with high housing and child care costs. Congress is unlikely to adopt the measure as proposed. <clears throat> yeah, you know what? To help those new ones, to help Guys, you think the 4-6 is going to help the sleeping giant citizen, hmm? 
I'm gonna raise it. I'm gonna raise the taxes for the powerful ones so we could take care of the sleeping giant. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, we haven't seen that. Again, his idea is to take care of the new ones that came into the sleeping giant. Don't be fooled. So it says here, <clears throat> the 4-6 budget for the 2025 fiscal year, which starts this October 2024, includes raising the corporate income tax rate to 28% from 21%, forcing those with wealth of $100 million to pay at least 25% of their income in taxes and letting the Gov negotiate to bring more drug cost down. <clears throat> this is possibly going to make the powerful ones uh, go to another country. Give me a second here, guys. Meanwhile, the Gov will bring back a child tax credit. Now, that is true, all right, but uh, it's going to happen, uh, I believe, uh, next year, all right? So, child tax credit for low and mid-income earnings. Um, so, instead of 1500 for each child, it's going to be 2000 So, some people are going to be like, oh, man, that's not much. But, uh, again, yeah, there's a lot of uh, young ones in this world, so it does add up. <clears throat> so, funds child care programs funneled $258 billion to building new homes, provide 12 weeks of paid family leave for workers, and spend billions on law enforcement. $258 billion to build new homes. I don't think it's this one here. This, this here got to be a different one. <clears throat> That's a $289 billion. That's even worse. So this bill of seven point something trillion, it does have a lot of stuff to help the new ones. Mm -mm -mm. Meanwhile, the gov would bring back. Okay, I, re oh, I read that part. Give me a second here, guys. <clears throat> so it says here. Do you really think the wealthy and big companies? need another two trillion tax break because that's what he the four five wants to do the four six said of the four five at an event in a competitive election state of new hampshire i'm going to keep fighting like you know what to make it fair the right house again uh mr johnson the speaker quickly rejected a proposal saying it reflected an in a tiable uh, a pitied for reckless spending and a disregard for fiscal responsibility <clears throat> so this bill which is pretty huge guys there is a lot of things in it that uh, is causing a red alert Give me a second here. Man, he has given the biggest... Oh, okay, I get that. To the Sleeping Giant Citizen. I can't believe this is the world we live in right now. So, yeah. Um, again, I'm reading the comments. A lot of people are not pleased. They are not pleased with this. <clears throat> Give me a second here, guys. Give me one second. I want to bring this up really quick. I want to bring this one up really quick. Man, once again, the 4-6 unveils massive 7.3 trillion with 5.5 trillion in tax hike plans for highest burden in history in u.s 
history. Uh, hopefully, I don't get hit with that one. Once again, the 4-6 unveil his election budget. We're going to skip a lot of this stuff here. So once again, it says the fiscal hawks and right alike were quick to call out the 4-6 for the reckless spending. So you have Brian, a senior fellow at the Manhattan Institute focusing on the budget and taxes, told the Post on Monday that the leader proposal would saddle, saddle the U.S. with the highest sustained income tax burden in sleeping giant history as a share of the economy. It says here, in Friday interview before the budget dropped, this person added that the proposal amount to even bigger tax hike down the road when it's time to rein in the deficit. The price tag of the 4-6 proposed budget is yet another glaring reminder of this 4-6 uh, uh, insultable uh, a petty for reckless spending. All right, so we're going to skip that. That's coming out from the speaker, uh, Mike Johnson. All right, so it says here, while hardworking, sleeping giant citizens like us struggle with crushing inflation and mounting national debt, the 4-6 would increase their plan, I mean, their pain to spend trillions of additional taxpayer to advance his agenda. The 4-6 floated some of his budget proposal during Thursday night state of the you know what, including raising the income tax rate for corporation to 28%. All right. Uh, so again, guys, uh, hold on, what's this? He also called for more than $400 monthly in mortgage rate, tax credit, and a 25% tax on billionaires defined as those with a net worth of $100 million or greater. You know, there are 1,000 billionaires in America, so we already know that. And once again, we have seen that uh, the four assists is completely hurting the sleeping giant. I'm just going to skip that part there, guys. I'm going to leave this link in my Twitter page. Very long article. Yeah, it's extremely long. Uh, extremely long. But uh, yeah, you get the picture here, guys. That bill, a lot of it has a lot of... Uh, uh, plans on helping the new ones brand new homes debit cards free lawyers i did post a video about the free lawyers yesterday free lawyers debit cards uh food stamp food stamps and uh yeah they're gonna be getting a lot of stuff if that bill's ever passed which i doubt it but, uh, yeah, again, I just wanted to bring this breaking news uh, information. Once again, guys, the 4-6 releases budget out of those $7.3 trillion. Uh, that is a $280 billion, $289 billion to build new homes, new housing for the new ones. Leave comments down below, guys. And, uh, again, uh, make sure you check out the videos I posted today. Those links will be in the comments box. I'm not going to uh, talk about this one here. Just a very long article. And I have another video coming up. And I did post one video on Patreon. I just got home for my second job. And right now it's 11.43 uh, p.m. So you guys ain't going to get this video until 1.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Why, Lewis? Well, there's a thing called change of time. 
All right, so daylight saving kind of messed everything up, the rotation. Which, by the way, if you guys missed my video, daylight time, they're trying to end the daylight time in uh, California. So that video, make sure you check it out. The link will be in the comments box. I'm going to share this link on my Twitter page. Um, it's just a very, very, very long article. And I got, again, one more video. Feeling really tired right now, guys. So, again, um... Make sure you share the video, and hopefully this thing doesn't go through. But uh, if it does, you're going to be seeing the new ones with brand new cars, brand new house, by the sleeping giants, sleeping on the sidewalk with Walmart tents. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.